Now let's decide when we have equivalent statements. Select the statement below that is equivalent to Gene is an actor or a musician. Let's designate P as the statement that Gene is an actor. And we'll have the statement Q is that Gene is a musician. We can fill that in. Gene is a music musician. So this is given as P or Q. Now, before we look at our choices, let's list some things that we know would be equivalent to this. In particular, we know that we can go to the following conditional. Not, if not Q, then P. And because we can rewrite the disjunction as a conditional, we can also rewrite the conditional as its contrapositive. If not P, then Q. Let's see if we have any of these forms as we run through our list. If Gene is an actor, then he is not a musician, would be symbolically denoted as if P, then not Q. If Gene is not an actor, then he is a musician, would be denoted if not P, then Q. It is false that Gene is not an actor or not a musician. We can denote that by putting the negation symbol and a set of parentheses. Gene is not an actor would be not P. Or Gene is not a musician would be not Q. I'm now going to use De Morgan's laws in order to take the negation and put it inside the parentheses, in essence. That's going to give us the negation of not P, which is going to be P, and the negation of not Q, which is going to be Q. If Gene is an actor, then he is a musician, and so that would be if P, then Q. Now, we wanted to come up with a statement that is equivalent to what we started with, and we had variations of that format. The first one does not end up fitting any of the formats. The second one, if not P, then Q, does. We can just double check the third one, the AND statement would not fit, and the conditional would not fit. The answer to the question is B.